Welcome back. Let's play a few more games while we're here, shall we? So we typically play 10 minute games. Today is no exception. Today let's play some 10 minute games. And do our best. See how things go. Maybe stick to a plan of playing Central File Rook for once. I keep saying I'm going to do it. One of these days, you know, I might just play the opening that I announce. Um, yeah, that other day, our opponent played Central File Rook, and we found that Fourth File Rook is an interesting strategy. Good luck. Let me balance the audio. Alright, let's do this. Central File Rook or bust. There we go. There it is. We've played it. Is this the right way to play it? Perhaps not. Ah. Yep. No worries. I won't. Uh, won't hold that against you. <laughs> um. Interesting. So yeah, I can bring this silver forward and threaten to hit at the head of this castle. I can also try to block the rook directly. Uh, but I don't have to choose a direction just yet. Alright. Let's get the king out of here. And castle one move faster. Uh, I don't have to respond to that. I might want to. I don't think I want to. Right. Um. So, is there some reason I shouldn't just activate my pieces? Is using my pieces a bad thing in this opening? Or maybe it's just not the best use of moves. Um, right. tuck the king in over here. And then we could play Kimuramino, and that'll be good fun. If I push this pawn, we exchange pawns, I could pin a knight. Um, they break the pin, but they cannot promote, so... I think it behooves me to fight back on this one. Oh, they can break the pin. Well, damn. It's pawn up, pawn up, knight takes, knight takes, rook takes. Uh, that's one way this could go, and it's not a good way. Um, hmm. I don't see another way this could go, though. Our opponent has just outplayed us this opening. If I move the rook away, they'll just target my center and take it. Uh, I could solidify my castle in preparation for my demise. Alright, um, if I take knight takes, knight takes, rook takes, I can drop a pawn, they can take here with their rook. Or I could offer a rook exchange, then they, uh, they place a pawn to block the rook exchange. So that's, these are possibilities. I think best though, is if I oppose the rooks here and we exchange, no well then they could still drop a pawn. Nothing gained here on my part, unfortunately. Um, huh. Puzzling. Feels like something's missing. Alright, well, we'll try to make our rook active. I don't think this is right, though. So if knight takes, bishop takes, they drop a pawn, my rook moves away. We're not even going there. They're just giving me a donation. Interesting. 
Alright, so I've been playing much slower than my opponent has been playing, but um, I think my moves are slightly more accurate. I think they just missed this outright, and now this is not so easy for them to hold. So maybe they'll slow down now. Yeah, rather than consolidate my center... Oh, I see. They've been threatening this fork here. Uh, I completely missed the fork idea. Thankfully, it does not destroy me, but, you know... It's... Hmm. I lucked out that my bishop covers this fork. I could not figure out what my opponent was doing. Alright, so... Now they threaten to invade with a knight. So, I take this pawn and I'm attacking their knight. If I take the knight, that's a free knight. If I don't take it, it's still free because they can't do anything. Um, I don't even know that I want a free knight. No, what I want is for them not to win my bishop. But I can't help that at this point. Um, now a knight here would threaten this pawn, which would threaten these pieces. Hmm. If I drop a knight, and if they hit my bishop, I could fork them back. They take my bishop, I take their bishop, king takes... Hmm, I don't know. If I take the knight directly, silver takes... And my silver's not doing much, but I can take this pawn, they take my bishop, I promote on their rook, and then I take back. And that's worth it. It's good enough. If at some moment my bishop has to retreat, that's fine too. So another thought, oh, never mind. They're not going to try winning material as far as I can see. Um, or they have tried it and have capitulated on that front. Um, oh, this threatens my rook. I might want to do something about that. Instead of just letting them take my rook. All right, let's go back. <laughs> so my rook and bishop protect this center point. Yeah, that hits my bishop. I don't have any reason to just give them a bishop. Um, I hope I've not missed something here. So I still have this knight drop, knight break the castle idea. I don't want their bishop to swarm all over my position, so I'm attempting to retain this 5-5 five, five point. Um, but also, I'm not sure where this is going. I'm not in any hurry to trade... Oh. Well, okay, now that they kind of insist, I could exchange some pieces. Um, silver drop. Rook moves. Well... Yeah, silver in front of a pawn, it's too sad. Oh, I don't want to give them a knight. 
the knight would be bad here. Um, not sure how to play this. If I sack, we're getting a rook exchange. That's fine, isn't it? Yeah, let's do this. And I could drop my silver here. And if gold takes, I take a rook. If the rook retreats, one to continue to protect the gold, then I have a fork. If they drop a pawn, we do get a rook exchange, albeit a slightly odd one, but it's a rook exchange. Yep. So let's take our rook exchange. And take one of those. I hear those pieces are pretty good. Okay, let's keep this rook off the diagonal where my king stands. Um, not sure how much I should care about this. Something. For the sake of, well, no, if I retreat, I just continue retreating all over the place. But maybe it's still worth it. Um, yeah, saving the bishop is a loss of time. We will just proceed attacking as if it's not attacked right now. Maybe the knight should have gone here instead of here. Uh, yes. Knight should have been on a different square. Well, we have another knight. We can still make use of our pieces. Even while they hang. I would spend more time to think, except time is limited, so... I just need to accept that uh, I'll learn from each game and hopefully not make the same mistake game after game. They can protect this with a rook, and that makes things a little more challenging. Um, since I need another attacking piece... Well, if my plan was to hit this point all along, I might have needed both knights in any event. But yeah, having a silver general could also help me attack this gold, since this gold is pinned to the king. Our opponent wants to take my bishop and then advance their bishop as long as this doesn't checkmate them. But if it does checkmate them, then they want to be a bit more careful. Okay. That's interesting. For so many reasons. Um... Let's just pick a path and go with it. They're going to take my knight anyway.
1分30秒3 generals and a dragon should be enough Ah, sorry to hear that. Um, I guess I'll type something in between games here. Good luck. Alright, so we played Central Fawrook last game. Let's not play it every game, though. Let's not overdo it. Um, yeah, let's go back to third Fawrook here. So if our opponent does nothing, we can exchange our rook over here. Interesting. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, sure. Call my bluff. Why don't you? I dare you. Let's learn something today. All right. Um... I don't know what to do next. That felt good, but yeah, I don't know what follows after that. Other than... No, I don't know. There's some complex tactics that follow in some of these positions. Um, let's attempt to hold this together. Interesting. No, I don't have any shot that just wins on the spot, though. Um... This looks still a bit interesting, I think. This exchange I don't think is worth it. Okay, we've opened a diagonal here. Um, I'd be hesitant to be in my opponent's boots right now. Have I missed something critical? Maybe. But uh, we've had a fun journey. So, yeah, this diagonal's wide open. They could block it again. I don't know if I'd have the balls to take this twice. <laughs> I don't think I need to, though. If they block their bishop the second time, I think I'm quite content with the status quo. See where we end up next. So I've got this 5 5 bishop drop. Uh, I expect they'll probably do that though, and then um, I'll have to fight back against it somehow. Okay. That's special. Um. I mean, this seems to be my weak point, right? Well, I could drop this, they take there, I take a rook. 
Gold takes, I drop a rook. Gold back, my rook is trapped. Um, hmm. I drop, and if they take here, if I do that capture sequence, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think that this is playable, as scary as it looks. Because I have this 5-5 five five drop, which looks amazing. And if they drop a pawn, my rook can go back and then fork here. I think it's okay. Oh, they just take here directly. But I thought my response to that would be this fork. This seems playable. Oh, they can drop a pawn here now. I see. Okay, this is more complex than I thought. Oh, they could even do that. Um, interesting. That seems extremely risky. If I take... What are they doing? Rooks are overrated, but I like my rooks. All right, let's have some fun. Either I've missed something monumental here, or I have a decent attack for my exchange. Or both. <laughs> um. You can't defend a pawn with a pawn. I'm trying to decide, do I fork this and take the lance and then drop the lance to collect this to hit the rook? Or do I go take here and then take here? Or do I pursue the king with the pawn here while also taking this? I think the third option is best. Why not have all of the above? Um, So we're chasing the king from both sides. And my horse is still on this nice active diagonal. Oh, uh, that's weird. Have I missed something? Okay, don't do that. 
Do not take that way. Okay. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, the, there's some tactics in this opening. Hmm. Yeah, if I'd taken the other way, I get checkmated. Gofu. Getting checkmated is less than ideal. Um. All right, so my opponent wants to exchange pieces so they can attack me. What if I don't want to be attacked? Can I just say no to being attacked? Or is it harder than that? So I have this rook drop hitting these points. Um, this gold is scary, but if I can not get attacked from both directions, then maybe I'm fine. Oh, they protect my rook drop. Fair enough. Um, 